Wealth is our portion of redemption, not our ambition. The possession of money is not evil, but the love of money, the worship of money is evil. The moment you go off the covenant path, you have registered for crisis. In redemption, we have access to financial prosperity. Stay tuned as the bishop unveils us the word of God concerning our prosperity in Christ Jesus. Wealth is our portion of redemption, not our ambition. It's allotted us in redemption. It became poor that we through his world and we made rich. He <laughs> obtained for us power, riches, wisdom. Is that right? The possession of money is not evil, but the love of money, the worship of money is evil. Some fellows in this church got help from heaven and they saw money and fled. A number of them are smelling now. You better take over. The moment you go off the covenant path, you have registered for crisis. Crisis, crisis. It's not a cause. No. <laughs> it's a covenant. Those who hasten after another God, their sorrow shall be multiplied. Multiplied sorrow. Multiplied sorrow. Psalm 16 verse 4. The sorrow of them that is after another God shall be multiplied, multiplied sorrow, multiplied sorrow. That man in the parable of Christ, the rich fool, he went away sorrowful. Sorrowful. Ah, you are touching my sensitive part. Ah, ah. He went away sorrowful. The love of money makes people sorrowful. You can be laughing in the public. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But inside of your inside is sorrow. <laughs> A deep rooted sorrow. <laughs> because the quest after money knows no end. Knows no end. It creates an unending crave, unending crave for more, for more, until individuals fall into a ditch. You will never be that. Amen. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen? Do you know how despised money is in this ministry? You've never had any prayer raised on money here. Have you ever had it? Oh Lord, remember Act Project, remember Royal Church Building? Show yourself, manifest yourself. Don't forget, we remind you now. We remind you again because you can forget many things. You have many things to do. So. <laughs> Amen. And yet, we are in command of financial fortune. It's your turn. Gehazi went after unrighteous gain, he returned with leprosy. That will not be your portion. Yeah. Judas was a land speculator. He was stealing to buy land. He now had the land to buy. And there was no money that he could steal. The eyes of Peter, James, and John were on the money. They said, I better sell Jesus and then buy this land. I don't want to miss this land. <laughs> he sold this master. He, because it makes you mad. If you are stealing, did not expose you and he knew. <laughs> John 12, verse 6. Jesus knew that Judah was a thief. But if you ever mentioned it, Peter will cut his neck. He said, someday he will repent. Someday he will repent. <laughs> and I said, let me say this Jesus himself. <laughs> but he repented too late. He went and hung himself. He threw the money down home. Late repentance. Somebody's free here. Yeah. Every illegitimate business that anyone be involved in here, ah, is digging your grave without knowing. Yao, yao, manipulations. You are digging your grave without knowing. Get out of it. 
there are decent, legitimate ways to earn genuine income and be at peace. That's the kind you will have from now. That's the kind you have from now. Important things to note in engaging the covenant of wealth. I'm not a teacher of prosperity. I'm a messenger. Get back home and make my people rich. I abandoned everything I had to do and rushed back to Nigeria. I thought I was going to press a button and then everything would begin to happen. One, the days of his joys shall precede the day of his coming. You know why the end time church is to rule in the midst of our enemies? And the rich is one that will rule over the poor. Psalm 110 verse 1 to 2 and Proverbs 22 verse 7. So God is going to unleash heavenly wealth on the earth to position the church to rule in the midst of our enemies. Praise God. He said, in the day when I make up my jewels, they shall be mine. And I will spare them as a man spare his own son that serveth him. Then you shall return and stand between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. A sharp difference is coming on. Don't let any devil dissuade you from serving God in truth and in deed, including with your God-given resources. Don't let any devil confuse you. Don't let any devil confuse you. A day is coming that will make a clear difference between those who are on key with Jesus and those who are not. That day is coming. That day is coming. That day is coming. <laughs> that day is coming. You'll be on the positive side of it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The last day shall be days of darkness and gloominess for the world, but days of men to be wondered at for the sins of the Most High God. That they will think you're a magician by virtue of God's favor, answering on your life, having walked with Him from face to face, face to face, one face to another, one face to another. <laughs> uh, Zechariah 3 5. He said, Joshua, the high priest, and they that sat with him, they are men to be wondered at. Men to be wondered at. Men to be wondered at. I mean, just like they said, Jesus had a demon. They won't believe that you are a natural man. No. You have escaped the natural realm. <laughs> you are operating in the heavenly realm. So, so everything is happening to you at a heavenly rate. Heavenly rate, sir. Heavenly rate. You know, Jesus built this church, this building without a budget. Pariso, and without begging. In Klanka, without a temptation to borrow. Within one year. Fear God. Yes, sir. Fear God. Yes, sir. Their project is going in. A lot of my sons are here who are youth pastors from our various churches. Have they ever announced in your church that they should give? Even here, do we announce? Yes, sir. How is he building it? Dollars tumbled and tumbled. But blessings tumbling Hallelujah. and tumbling. Hallelujah. <laughs> we are not part of this economy system here. The devil himself knows. We are not part of it. The devil himself knows. If you ask him now. That are they part of this system? He says, no, 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 they are not. <laughs> they are not. We have seen a lot of economic programs in this country. It didn't affect us. Adjustment, disadjustment, movement. Praise God. Awesome, Jesus. It's your turn. Amen. If you care to settle with the covenant of abundance, you will imagine a wonder. Amen. A wonder among men. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Morning does not qualify for your worship and should not be given any feeling that he is. <laughs> no. No. 